looked at it. About the other night, I was drunk. I kind of get carried away. Francis, give me a break. Look, darling, I'm trying to apologize. What do you want me to do? Go down on my knees? No. Do me a favor. Stay away from me, okay? Big shopping, Ma. A little thing. For me? Mm hmm. Ma. Ma, where you get the money to buy all of this? A little thing I had to save, huh? You like them? I like them, but. It's so much. For one time in life, I wanted to give you something nice, Jerry. You know, like other people. Try it on. Go ahead. <laughs> it's looking nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ma. See the pants fit. Right inside. Okay. Jared! What's this? I've been hearing that you and Granville got into some kind of argument. That's over with you know, Miss Duncan. Come on, don't let him upset you. The man is stupid. Stupid people always get me upset. He is not stupid. Frightened maybe, but not stupid. A lot of people are frightened about losing their salaries. The demand you not making the slightest effort to understand the reason for it. That is stupidity. You think by marching and striking, government will be in a position to pay us? Maybe they won't, but he has a right to express himself. And I have a right to my own opinion without being abused for it. I go on. Just for the weekend, man. Until us, home, man. Yeah, man. Go on. All right, sure, sure. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 It must be tough in there. I can take it. Do you miss me? You know I do. I miss you so much. I love you, Greg. I know. Me too. Nothing's gonna come between us. Nothing. There's this really good Calypso show on this weekend and I want to take you on Saturday night. I can't. Why? I made plans for the weekend. Well? Well what? Aren't you going to tell me what those plans are? I'm going to Tobago. Again? I thought you went to Tobago last weekend. Hmm, well... I have to go and visit my aunt. I want to meet your aunt. Do you remember this guy I told you I was involved with? 
You want me to go away? Yes. Yes? Well, when he left, I found out, I found out that I was pregnant. I, I had nowhere else to turn because my father had put me out. He was so upset. He was so ashamed. So I, I went to stay with Tante Millie in Tobago. And a child? A boy. I go to see them as often as I can. He's really sweet. Listen, I'll, I'll understand if you don't want to see me after this. It's all right. I want to go with you. I want to meet him. I don't think it's a good idea. He's a part of you and I think it's a good idea. I'll think about it. What's his name? Fran. <laughs> I like it. Yes, it was his father's idea. You still love him, don't you? I don't know. I honestly don't know. It's open. You said to see me, sir? Sit. Sit down and sit up. You know what this is? It's a pawn ticket, cancelled. You recognize the signature at the bottom? I guess you do. Your mother, she pawned this for $1,000. And if I should go to the police, there'd be a case that your mother would have no chance of winning. My guess is she'd get about five to seven years. You can ask any lawyer. But on the other hand, I believe you and I can work something out. Hmm? No. No! Come on, I'm not that repulsive, am I? Eh? In that case, Inspector Hector, please. No, wait. I pay it back. I'll work till I pay it off. <laughs> That's not what I had in mind, Ancilla. You are a very, very attractive girl. Iran? Yeah, I'd like to report it here. No, please. <laughs> um, there might be a bit of a misunderstanding after we. I'll make a check and call you back later. Okay, thanks. Come on. It won't be that bad. I promise you. Don't be afraid. No! Run out on me now, and your mother goes to jail. 